Hello, my name is Steve Hermitage and in this video we're going to take a look at a number of different lighting setups you can use in the studio to light a model. Okay, this first setup that we're going to use is known as 45 degree lighting and a studio strobe fitted with a softbox is giving us some lighting on the left hand side of the image as we look at it um, to give us some very diffused lighting onto the model. Well, you can see a really lovely catch light of our softbox in the model's eyes, but it would be really nice to separate the model from the background, and we can do that using a second studio strobe fitted with a snoot. That gives us a nice hair light, and you can see that in this next image. But the right hand side of our model's face still has some shadow, and it would be nice to fill that shadow in uh, with some more light, and we can do that by adding a reflector on the right hand side of the model. That then just bounces light back from our key light which is the softbox on the left hand side of the image and when we do that you can see that we get a very pleasing image of our model. Well here's our setup then we've got a softbox on the left hand side of the model that's set at 45 degrees we've got a snooted uh, strobe on the right hand side of the image that's acting as a hair light and we're bouncing the, some of the light back again as a fill light on the right hand side of the model to fill in some of those shadows. Now the second setup that we're using we've just moved the softbox round a little bit and moved the hair light down so it's essentially a variation on the theme of the first image but it's given us some slightly more dramatic lighting to our model. What we're going to do now is add that reflector back in just to fill in uh, some of the light on the right hand side of the model's face and bounce it back from the key light from the softbox and you can see here we've now eliminated some of those shadows. Okay, the next lighting setup we're going to look at is split lighting and in this case what we've done is to move the softbox right round now so it's level with our model and you can see the lighting here has split uh, the model's face down and one side is in complete shadow and the other side is really well lit. What we can do is use that creatively and get our model to pose in a different way and in this shot that light is coming through the model's arms. In the next shot we're going to take a look at a variation on another classic lighting setup and that's butterfly lighting. Now normally in butterfly lighting you would have a softbox uh, di direct above the model and that light would come down and hit the model's face and it would create a butterfly shadow underneath the model's nose and that's used in some very high-end uh, high fashion photography. That light often then is filled in using a reflector uh, that's kind of underneath the model's face. Well, what we've done here is a variation on butterfly lighting, but we've got two soft boxes, one uh, from above and one from below. I'm sure you agree this is, again, some very dramatic lighting that you can use on your model. OK, the next lighting is uh, very uh, contemporary lighting where you have a high key background where the background is completely white and your model is well lit. Now the trick for this photography is to have plus two exposure values on the background and I'm lighting the background here using two speed light unit, units, uh, Canon 580EX and 430EX and I've set those as plus two um, exposure values on the background and then taken the correct exposure value on the model's face and that's being lit using a softbox. Okay, the next set lighting setup is to move the speed light just behind the model so the speed light fires and lights the back of the model and this is known as rim lighting. It creates this beautiful halo of light that separates again the model from the background and the front of the model is lit using a softbox uh, diffused light. Okay, the last setup we're going to look at is using a gel to light the background and what I've got here is set my speed light onto completely manual mode 
and separate it and set the zoom function to 80 millimeters at one eighth of the power with a pink gel. Uh, 80 millimeter zoom gives us a spot of light on the background. And if you carefully position both the speed light and your model, you can use that as a creative background for your model. And you can see here I've added again a, um, a softbox to light the model's face, and on the background I'm using the speed light fitted with the gel to give us our pink background. Well, I hope this has been a useful video. There's a number of uh, different setups you can use in the studio to get some really creative portrait photography.